Okay, y'all, so this here is a full-size headboard, and I also have a footboard, and I'll show you that in a minute, but I've had this bed for, I don't know, three or four years just storing it because I had an idea of what I wanted to do with it, and I just never got around to it. So it was a, I can't even remember, it was it wasn't fairly fairly cheap but it wasn't expensive either I'm, i want to say it was about forty dollars um and i got it from a thrift store and i loved it because it had this um inlay this detail here um at, on the headboard and the footboard and then it also had this double um, this grooved curve that i thought was really really pretty um and then here's the footboard and i love it even more it actually curves around at the bottom and I think that's really pretty um, this makes a perfect um, girls bed or ladies bed um, and that's what I'm going to use it for and then these detail on the feet I don't know if you can see those or not but that squirrel work that's really cute um, and it has that same matching um, inlay design and there's a little bit of the veneer Pilling up and it's not moist it's not it hasn't been wet per se but there that is moisture and wear that has caused it to um, raise like that so I'm gonna try and fix that with some um, wood filler or wood glue and possibly some Bondo and keep it um, pressed and then it also has like some of these grooves um, in the veneer that I have to be careful when I sand those down I'm not trying to make it look perfect which is why I don't mind all of these um, things that I have to sand smooth because it's going to I must distress it just a little bit um, so that it fits in the room
Okay, so I have de-stressed this piece, and as you can see, it's only distressed in areas that would that it should naturally um, be distressed in, areas that poke out, that get um, the most attention. Um, people are grabbing it um, with their hands or it's rubbing up against other furniture um, as time goes by. And I did do a little de-stressing on the veneer, this line here of veneer. Um, I kind of like the natural, showing that it's peeling, it's showing its age. So I put just small pieces or um, took some small portions of that away with de-stressing. But the majority of my de-stressing is where it would naturally um, paint would naturally rub off and so now we're going to apply the polyurethane it is a quick dry um, polyurethane it's Minwax brand one coat um, clear satin and it should dry according to the label in two hours so in two hours I'll know if I need another coat and let's finalize that project and of course I'll be using my this bristle short handled um, bristle brush angled brush to apply that Oh,